Um, I was did not want to move from this location for a little while until I felt comfortable enough to do so. I didn't want to become a fire victim myself, but I wanted to get the footage that we needed. As a firefighter, you look at a, a structure fire, a house fire like this going up, and it just it stabs you in the heart. Firefighters don't like to see structures going up. They don't like to see foundations left. That, you know, that's not our job. Our job is to protect that property. And when it came, and when it came down to it, we ended up having to make our stand. That's what all the firefighters that were involved in this, from the federal level on down to our firefighters with Colorado Springs, uh, they they made their stand and they said, "That's it. This is not getting around us anymore, and we're going to keep." the rest of these homes safe. And they did just that. And had they not made a stop on that fire right there, they would have lost 195 homes. It's almost like being in a war zone. I mean, you're hearing explosions of uh, propane tanks from people's barbecue grills and, and whatever else they have in their garage, cans of gasoline. You're hearing those types of explosions. You're hearing a lot of weird noise on top of just the sound of burning uh, trees and, and burning houses. It's almost surreal, uh, but you know this is not this is not a movie or anything like that. This is the real thing. This is Denver Fire Department again. They had five crews down here during the blaze, and they're putting up a water curtain. They're defending this home right here on the left, and this other home is pretty much gone. Uh, this home is generating a lot of sparks across up here and landed on that roof right there and it's starting on fire two doors down from where denver fd is clint found a hose garden hose when trying to put this roof fire out this will be the first fire and he did it it's the first fire he's ever put out